everyone, in this video, I'll be sharing the top 3 set of tips that I used while I was preparing for the October 2022 ECE and ECT board examinations. Okay, so just a quick overview, the Professional Regulation Commission or the PRC released a new TOS for the ECE board examination last June 20, 2022. This is in accordance with the changes in the curriculum brought by the K-12 program. If you guys want to know more about the new TOS, check the link in the description below. So now that we have already grasped the details of what to expect, here are the three set of tips that I used which will help you pass the ECE and ECT board exams. Tip number one, do not hoard review materials. Okay, so this may sound confusing for some, but collecting various materials and books would only overwhelm you. One of the mistakes that I made while I was reviewing for the board exam was spending most of my time searching for other reference materials instead of focusing on one or two books per subject. If you already have a book which you are truly comfortable with, devote your time mastering it. Once you're done with that book and you are confident enough to say that you know the concepts in it, you can now resort to MCQs or find other reference materials to expand your knowledge or just simply rely on the review materials that your review center provides you. Honestly, I was not able to finish a single book during my review process. What I did was research on the topic which was discussed during that day and answer as many MCQs as I can just to gauge my knowledge on the lesson. Tip number two, read, comprehend, practice. Most review centers allot a month or two for each learning method. In those four months, the first two are devoted to lectures. This is the most crucial and challenging during the review period because you have to exert a lot of effort and time to understand a concept. Now, if you are the type of person who wants to finish a book before the board exam, this is the most suitable duration. Since I took the morning schedule, the class usually ended at 12.15 p.m. I limit my lunch time for about 15 minutes just so I could always start my afternoon session by 1 p.m. During the first three hours, I'll read everything about the lessons which were discussed during that day. And in the succeeding hours, I'll write all the formulas that I've encountered in a piece of index card. Right after dinner, I'll answer as many MCQs that I can and answer all the take-home exams that my review center provided me. The month before the board exam, retention will be your main priority. This may be done by answering at least 500 questions per subject per day. The more questions you encounter, the higher the probability of passing the exam. For problems involving engineering data analysis, it is important that you solve a lot of problems involving research tools such as ANOVA, regression, correlation, etc. until you fully grasp the concept. For data communications, most of the formulas are somewhat identical to each other, uh, especially those that involve bit rates and error rates. Uh, that is why it is very important that you must be vigilant enough to understand or to know which formula is the most suitable. These are just an overview of the topics which you must be familiarized with and it's never encouraged to be complacent with these type of videos because no one knows what questions will appear during the actual board exam. And of course, tip number three, get enough sleep. So you may have heard this a thousand times already, but believe me when I tell you that you must allow your body and mind to rest. If you're still having doubts, think about this for a minute. You'll have to take the ECE board exam for two consecutive days. On the first day, the usual call time is 5.30 a.m. To compensate for the time that you need to find your seat number, your group number, and fill out all the necessary details in the general information sheet. Now, the first subject you have to take is mathematics, exactly 8 o'clock a.m. And believe me when I tell you that you cannot perform well if you are sleep deprived. During my preparation for the October 2022 ECE and ECT board examination, I made it a habit to sleep by 10 p.m. and wake up by 5 a.m. And that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. And if you like this, please do hit the subscribe button for more ECE-related content. Bye!